right, so if you're here from the last episode, man, I'm still in the exact same position. You know why? Because I am recording another one. Another one? Another one. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. Why is that? Just give me the key. Fine, fine. Take it. I'll get going. Bye bye What am I to do now? Shut your goddamn mouth. That sounded like fun. Go fuck yourself, man. You piece of shit. Ain't nothing you can do, buddy. Someone must have had a hard fall here. But I'm not him. Yeah, dude, same. That would suck. That's a rare spirit. I'd like you to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Congratulations on your wedding from Sister Peg. Hmm. What the hell? Hell's all this shit. Get fucked. Oh man, somebody keeps ringing my phone. Give me one minute, boys. Excuse me. Apologies. Alright, excuse me for that little interruption. But in the meantime, while I was on the phone, I did get to start uploading episode 19. This will be episode 20, guys. Already fucking episode 20. Shit. Oh, what's that? That's a leg. Oh, gross. Ah! Help me! Somebody! Anybody! Help! Oh, man. He got slaughtered. He got murdered. I really rather really killed those motherfuckers, so we chillin', right? Oh, there's the rest of them. There is the rest of them. Oh, Oh, that's bad news. Whenever you get fucked, oh my god, it's a lot of materials. Oh no, what is coming? Something huge! Fuck me, dude. I am not ready for another boss battle. Let me tell you something, guys. Grenades are fucking magical. Well, let's see what he's got in here. Torn bit of map. Eld Street and Skipper Road. In the bag of a dead gang member, I found a piece of map of the southern part of Salvation Harbor. One of these houses on Eel Street, north of the intersection with the Skipper Road, is marked the Red Circle. Alright. So maybe we... Gots to be going there. Oh, what's that? What's that? That's a health pack. Why can't I grab it? I can't grab that shit. Um... Oh! Milton Pierce knows I did not murder Johannes Vandenberg, but for some reason he's setting me up. Yeah, I believe that's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, Skipper Road in. Where was that place again? <laughs> Fuck. I think it was in Salvation Harbor, but I'm not 100% sure. Skipper Road. Skipper motherfucking road. Um, maybe it's in our case book. There's something we can see there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Skipper Road is north of the intersection with Skipper Road is marked with a red circle. Okay, this is in southern part of Salvation Harbor. So we're in far from it, right? Southern part, Skipper Road. Kind of looks like... Ah, uh, it's not like this, right? Oh, with Eel Street. Okay, that this is it. That's the one, right? 
Yeah, 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 we got it. Okay, let's go ahead and get over there. And, uh, let's see what goes ahead and find there. Well, this must be it. Gang hideout. Okay, so get yo. Shot A ready. Picture worthy? Nope. Can never tell what is picture worthy in this game. It's never give me no hands. Nothing? Okay. Well, that don't work. That don't work either. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, <laughs> and I pretend you weren't here. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. Oh, it's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There what are do you get? powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Charlie boy? It's Charles. <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> it's just too easy. <laughs> Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider oh, this man, number this two. Guy I get attached to people. Get one I shot it. Bit of a weakness. Shotgun to but the face. Understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Sorry, Billy. This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be different. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Get the fuck. That's what's up, boys. That's how you fucking murder everybody. Anybody else? Is there? Anybody else? The fuck I'm talking about with your damn cultist bullshit, motherfucker. You just got pooped on. Alright, so where that family at, though? Carefully fold the letter. Mr. Drunnin, your proposal proved too tempting to resist. I will tell the police whatever you need. Though in return, it will require some assistance for my election campaign. Sincerely, MP. Ooh, coordinates. On reviving the lung dead, step to return to spirits, essential soul, yada yada, words. Okay. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Oh man, that's crazy. What the hell? We read it that one. Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. They knew I was coming. They knew I was coming before I came. Fuck you, door. Okay, nothing to do with that. No. Okay. Nice. Oh shit, sorry. It's a lot of information. Anything else? Alright, we're good. Oh, there's only one 
don't think we can, hey, boys. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did I die? What? Oh my god, fuck me right. Alright, note to self, don't don't kill the guy. <laughs> fuck. Wait, who's this guy? Oh, thank you, mister. I I thought they'd kill us. I I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who, Wait, what? Who are you? You look I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's of course fine, I did. But this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. Aunt What's Peg. going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. He's I'll a try. good man. I've gotta go. I've got a motherfucking go. Oh, I got a noble action choice. Have you... Have you come to save us? No, I just came to loot. Get my fat loot going. Kill some people. You know? The huge. Alright, so I'm not even close to having all evidence collected. Suppose I gotta do that all over again. Oh, there you go. All evidence collected. Gucci. Let's see what we got. Uh, I saved Byers' family from the kidnappers. Now I must return to Glenn to discuss the terms of his surrender to the police. Alright, so while we go ahead and return to Glenn, I gotta figure out where that motherfucker be. Because I have no idea. Um, where was Glenn again? Over here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel to that motherfucker real quick. And I will see you guys on the flip side. What if you woke up to someone and you just right tap your right click? Evil and ten. <laughs> they run away. You know what I find annoying in this game? When you see something happen like this, like a crime, this guy just doing that to that guy. You cannot do anything to stop him. And if you shoot him, your sanity goes nuts. I think that kind of sucks because when you're, you know, you're playing a detective, you're playing a good guy, and you can't even, can't even fight crime. <laughs> What's like, your problem? I get it. You're not a cop, but like, I mean, come on, man. Yes, thank you so oh, much. Sorry. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What y happens Yes, you now? do. Uh, should I turn myself in? Yes. Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. Wow. Okay. Uh, killer was blackmailed out of danger. Worst paid debt. Now that Byers doesn't have any worry about his wife and son, he will confess to the killing of Vandenberg. Alright. Byers' gun was the murder weapon. It directly implicates him to the crime. Whoever is found with this gun will be implicated within the murder. It could be planted to frame someone else. Oh, frame Milton Pierce. So I'm returning the favor. If I plant the gun among his bloody clothes and take a picture of Mr. Carpenter, should consider it sufficient evidence against him. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is fucking fun as hell. All right. Um. Okay. So should we should give it to Mr. Carpenter's boy. We should go ahead and give it to Carpenter's boy. Now that's a fucking fun thing to do. I mean, you just instead of going to kill the mom. You actually were presented with two options. And we, uh, we clearly picked the right one because this decision is a lot more fun. A lot more detective poo than actually killing somebody's fucking mom. I mean, I mean, I kill a hoe. <laughs> I kill a hoe any day. No, I'm kidding. Don't, don't tell, don't tell anybody that. Um, it was a joke. Okay, relax. Relax! <laughs> 
Nah, but uh, this is a lot more fun. Now we actually, I didn't know this was gonna happen. I didn't even know we had options like this. I think this is the first mission where you actually have options that go this much in depth. It's nice. I like that shit. Getting here. Let's talk to that old broody poo. I think he was around the corner here. That's broody. I'd have broken all your no. bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you on the limit. Oh, Brutus Carpenter. Okay, yeah, like that. Okay. I thought we had to give it to his guard dog. How hey, you sugar. doing, handsome? How doing, handsome? Hey, what's your business, kid? Wait, you don't talk to him either? Who do I talk to? Wait a minute, I don't understand. Anybody in here? No. No. So we talk to talk to that guy? A little blackmail, a little larceny. Wait, who the fuck did we talk to? Wait, now I'm confused as hell. Thought we had to give it a Brutus. What the fuck? Alright, I'm just gonna go in and figure that out right quick, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Alright, so real quick cut. Uh, apparently, you have to go to his house first and plant the gun in a washing basket and uh, take a picture of that. So I did, and now we can actually get to Mr. Carpenter's house. Alright? Alright. All right, so we're back at the carpenter's house, and I uh, hope that was it. Hey, what's your business, kid? How you doing, handsome? <laughs> How you doing, handsome? So maybe talk to the, the, a little blackmail the dog a first, or what? Scrap it too. I'd have broken all your hey, bones, the fella. Fuck? If Papa Brute had to put you I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? I got the photo of Milton Peters' bloody clothes with the murder weapon. I have to show it to the carpenter's taskmaster or evidence of his guilt. Should be enough to prompt. Oh, wait. Maybe it's the, the guy from the house. It's him. There we go. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed. But it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing oh, a mayoral she. candidate of murder is an interesting challenge. But the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Exactly. You guys know how to tackle shit. Bye. An eerie feeling. There is definitely another otherworldly presence near Carpenter's house. I can feel it in the air. Oh. Are y'all ready? Let's do this. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's Vandenberg, right? Mr. Vandenberg. Holy shit, we'll be going to the Devil's Reef Hotel. Man, what's all this scary shit about? That's fucking cool. Let's do this. Let's see what we can do. Back at the Devil Reefs motherfucking hotel. All right, so tonight I still gotta make a few thumbnails for episode 19 and 20. And, uh, then I think we should also be ending this this main story mission. So then we should have two left. It's not a lot, but uh, yeah, it's good. Let's get this. <gasps> no way. How? How is this possible? <laughs> At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. Ooh. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. It wasn't me, and you know it. All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. 
The rest is just bells and whistles. Ding -ling -ling. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged <laughs> with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You what know you mean? exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. So Wonderful cut. execution oh, all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Schedule. Me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate triumph. The fuck? I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. No more riddles, Johannes. If you need something from me, talk. I am. You're just not listening. You have a great destiny. <laughs> My boss says that destiny to me beyond too. comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it? It's only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because Why? otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Well, what are you your then? Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're Come. wrong. Bet we I'll are. prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important. Even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Joseph Talk Hill. To him. Earn his favor. Seriously? All that, and you don't even know how to find Katiganar? <laughs> if I knew that, would I be working with a private eye? This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. 
I don't get it. What the fuck's gonna happen? Just gonna. You're just gonna stay here? You're just gonna stay here watching me sleep? We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. Then leave my room. <laughs> Fuck. What? Usually you can't. Oh. Oh boy. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do that. Why do I always do that? <laughs> Fuck. All right. Uh, I guess we'll end the episode on that one. Uh, see you guys later. I'll reload because I didn't actually want to kill him. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, peace.